mussels have unusual hairs on them. If you look closely, you can see hairs growing from the shell. What is this? Vicious science. Today, let's dissect a mussel. Ta-da! Mussels are quite large, aren't they? About the size of your fist. The mussels we often eat in soup are actually Mediterranean mussels, which are a slightly smaller species. The mussels we prepared this time are a larger species called Mytilus coruscus. Some people on the internet argue that Mediterranean mussels and other mussels are different. But since the term mussel generally refers to any member of the mussel family, Mytiloida mytilidae, we call them all mussels. Both types are correctly referred to as mussels. Now look closely at the mussel. There are clumps of hairs on them. Not just this one, but on all of them, in the same place. These hairs are often mistaken for seaweed attached to the mussel, but they are actually produced by the mussel itself. To see what this is, you need to open the mussel's shell. Mussels are bivalves that protect themselves with two hard shells. So if you cut the mussels that hold the shells together, Ta-da! The shells open like this. Notice the first interesting thing? This is a mussel's foot. Like other bivalves, mussels have feet. Above the feet, you'll find the hairs we mentioned earlier. These hairs are called byssus, which are the structures mussels use to anchor themselves. Unlike most bivalves that live on the ground, mussels attach themselves to surfaces, secreting an adhesive from the foot grooves. The substance from their feet quickly hardens upon contact with water, and becomes thread-like, which is the byssus. These clumps of hairs are the byssus that mussels use to stick to surfaces to prevent being washed away. Interesting, wow. isn't it? If you pull on one of these threads, it comes out cleanly like this. If you magnify the byssus under a microscope, you can see it looks like threads connected at the ends shaped like suction cups. Most of the mussels we show you have large byssus, so they are usually removed before eating, but with smaller mussels, the byssus is often left in, so you might have eaten mussel byssus before. Now, let's examine the internal structure of the mussel. You might find this a bit unpleasant. Prepare a fresh mussel and remove the byssus to clearly see inside. A spoon is the best tool for dissecting bivalves. Muscles are held together by two muscles, the shell-closing muscles and the traction muscles. Here is the traction muscle in the upper part of the foot. If you remove this muscle with a spoon, ta-da! The shell can be removed without damage. When you observe a muscle, the first thing to notice is the membrane attached to the shell, called the mantle. The mantle is where mollusks secrete their shells, and it's here that the hard shell of the mussel is produced. At the top of the mantle is a single hole, which is the outflow duct. Mussels channel incoming water through the inflow duct to the outflow duct, filtering food and absorbing oxygen in the process. If you flip open the mantle, the layer beneath is the mussel's gills which the mussel uses to filter and consume plankton and organic matter in the water. The food filtered through the gills is moved by cilia towards the labial pelp and then into the mouth below. Once in the mouth, the food is digested in the mussel's digestive tract and excreted through the anus, which is located near the outflow duct. The waste is expelled with the outgoing water. It's a truly scientific structure, isn't it? The feet I just showed you are situated between the mantles on both sides, with the byssus at the top. Finally, if you look at the muscles, you'll notice that the lower part of the mantle is orange in some and whitish in others, as shown here. This difference indicates the male and female reproductive nests. The female's reproductive nest is orange, while the male's is white. So, when you eat, the different colors in the mussels indicate whether they are male or female. Mussels are a common seafood, but they have quite a few oddities. That's all for our mussel dissection. If you enjoyed this, please subscribe to our channel.
This was Fishy Science, where mysteries are unraveled through science.